Please tell us your name and organization. My name is Ted Glick. I'm with the Chesapeake Climate Action Network. And we're here in front of City Hall in Baltimore, Maryland. There is a rally to Stop Cove Point. And tell us what your organization's interest in this project, stopping this project, what is your organization's interest in stopping it? Uh, CCAN, that's what we go by, has been active fighting to get off of fossil fuels and onto a serious clean energy path, renewable energy, wind, solar, and so on, for 10 years, 11 years. And when we heard about this last year, we saw this as potentially almost a game breaker for everything we've been doing for a decade. If this Cove Point facility is built, the greenhouse gas emissions that will be spewed into the atmosphere um, through the whole process of this thing, starting from the fracking that will be happening to get the gas to sending it over to Asia and re-gasifying it after it's been a liquid in the tanker, tanker vehicles. Um, it's worse than coal in terms of the greenhouse gas impacts. It's, it's a total huge step backwards in what Maryland has been doing for many years, which is moving towards clean energy in terms of where it gets its energy sources. So this is something that just has to be stopped. It is totally the wrong direction, completely and totally the wrong direction for energy policy, for energy to go in Maryland and for that matter in the country and the world. Does natural gas actually equate to being clean, ener clean energy like their advertisements say? No, no, totally not. Mm -hmm. uh, gas, first of all, it's not clean energy because water gets poisoned when they do fracking. Um, the air gets poisoned when they do fracking. Mm -hmm. There are leaks all throughout the process of, of from fracking to piping to compressor stations and, and then eventually burning it. Um, the science is in now that the to when you take the whole life cycle of natural gas, that it is close to, if not worse than coal, in terms of total greenhouse gas emissions. It is not a safe or a clean energy source, and we have to get off it just have, like we have to get off coal and we have to get off oil. The good news is that wind and solar are growing very quickly, both in the United States and in the world. Prices are coming down, um, and we have a potential right now, not in the future, to dramatically accelerate the clean energy revolution we need to wind and solar and other renewable sources, natural gas could derail that. How does Marcellus, the, the Marcellus coal belt compare to the tar sands of Alberta? Yeah, well there's similarities certainly. I mean fracking in general um, is very similar to the tar sands. They're both uh, cases of extreme energy extraction where we're going beyond where we've been um, up until like the last five to ten years and are now mining and bringing out of shale gas these uh, going up into into the Arctic to try to get oil in the Arctic, um, deep sea uh, deep sea oil drilling, all of those are extreme energy extraction uh, methods um, that again are just digging us deeper and deeper and deeper into this very deep hole we're already in when it comes to climate change. So we have to stop all of that. We have to get all, get off of all of those extreme energy sources. Get serious about wind and solar and renewables and really drive this clean energy revolution now. Stopping this Cove Point facility will be a real signal um, that, that this, uh, just, just the stopping the Keystone pipeline um, will be a symbol um, that we're taking this seriously and, 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 and that powered by the people, because it's the grassroots that are going to stop this. Yeah. The grassroots and people in government who have decision-making power who realize that their responsibility is, is to defend the rights and the interests um, and the lungs um, and the futures of the people of, of Maryland. Um, and not the interests of the gas industry. It's all about profit. That's what this is all about, making money for the gas industry. It's not even about making money uh, for the economy as a whole. This Cove Point facility and gas exports in general, exporting gas from the United States around the world, studies have shown it, it only is a benefit to the gas industry. It's not a benefit to workers whose gas prices will go up. It's not a benefit to manufacturing whose gas prices will go up. Um, it's not a benefit to farmers who, whose gas prices, some of the inputs they use for, for farming will go up. The only industry that 
benefits from this is the gas industry, um, the only sector of the economy that benefits. So this is bad news all around. We have to stop it. And that's what this, is, this movement is about. You spoke about the people and the grassroots efforts a, a moment ago. How many people did you count? I saw you up on the statue counting. How many? Right. There were 700 people here. That's uh, based on a count as people were going by on the march. Are you enthusiastic about that's that? That's very good. I'm mean, the 700 people coming out on a weekday, a work day um, in Baltimore uh, is very positive, and it's a sign that this movement is growing and deepening and, and getting stronger in its determination to, to win this battle. That's what we're about. We want to win this. Thank you, Ted Glick with CCAN. Thanks for talking to DC Media Group. Okay, thank you.